I'm Rahel Solomon. Hurricane Florence did lose some of its top wind speed, but forecasters warn that the powerful storm has gotten wider and is expected to bring days of dangerous winds and torrential rain. Correspondent Mola Lange has the latest now from Wilmington, North Carolina. Big waves crashed ashore in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, as the outer bands of wind and rain from Hurricane Florence reached the Carolinas. The storm has been downgraded from a Category 4 to a Category 2, with maximum sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. But federal officials warn it is still extremely dangerous. Please do not let your guard down. The storm surge forecast associated with this storm has not changed. It has remained the same. Forecasters expect a storm surge of up to 15 feet in some areas. Florence could also dump up to 30 inches of rain or more, causing massive flooding. This is a powerful storm that can kill. On North Carolina's Outer Banks, most heeded the call to evacuate, but there are always a few holdouts. I'd rather be here and knowing what I'm dealing with than somewhere else and not knowing what I'm going to be confronted with. Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, just on the other side of the intercoastal waterway there, is under a mandatory evacuation. Police say those who chose to stay behind might be on their own. I'm not going to put our personnel in harm's way. Um, you know, for some, especially for people that were told to evacuate, they failed to evacuate. Be safe, guys. Right. Sorry, you you guys in a few days. Residents in Jacksonville, North Carolina, about 20 miles from the Atlantic, moved their boats ahead of the storm. It's one of the many cities expected to see the highest storm surge when the hurricane makes landfall. It's really somewhat of a gloomy feeling knowing that the coast of North Carolina is going to be changed forever. Heavy rain and high surf are expected to linger until Saturday. Mola Lenghi for CBS3 Eyewitness News.